Today we're going to be talking about the new Valorant 9.10 update, which is going to include a lot of crazy big things, including the regen shield, I guess walk and run inaccuracy guns, and then also some agent changes as well. This is a big one, so buckle in and let's take a look, chat. Here they're updating bullet number for Frenzy and Ghost, walk and run inaccuracy on pistols, rifles, and machine guns. Thank God. Damage on the Phantom? Beginning. Let's look at new armor, regen shield. We want to expand the strategic and tactical possibilities within the Valorant competitive sandbox by introducing a new defensive option. Regen shield has been added to the shop. The cost is 650 credits so it's between light armor and full armor at 650 leaning a little bit more towards heavy armor damage absorption is 25 and regen pool is 50 i see absorbs 100 of incoming damage taken for damage to health occurs oh 100 damn okay that's insane so the interesting about this is that you actually technically have in total 175 hp as long as you don't take it all at once but at any given moment you only have light armor you only have 125 hp at any given moment at max maximum you will not have more than that and what's really cool about this though is that the first 25 points of damage that you take will go straight to the shield and none to your health and i think that's really cool i guess that makes sense so that like you know you don't just continue like getting more and more armor and then you can get healed and whatnot so it makes sure that like you really use your armor first or as much as you can well that's interesting agent update cypher cypher has been a dom this is a nerf right trap bar now a 0.5 second wind up before the full wall hack reveal applies and fades in oh my god that's insane so once you hit the trip you don't get instantly scanned that means that you can just hit the trip tank the trip and just break it as long as you break it within half a second and i feel like most good players will be able to do that and that way you just don't get scanned at all whatsoever you can just smoke yourself and then just break it if you wanted to which is insane neural theft they just increase it by one old point i still think cypher is a good agent sage healing orb self heal 30 hp to 50 hp that's great just like a random heal it's still great that's way better than 30 i feel like 30 was just not enough 50 hp guarantees that you can survive another bullet and i love that slowing orb now will additionally reduce the dash speed of enemies caught inside the slowing zone by 50 percent similar to the concussion changes in the gameplay systems update later in the patch notes whoa there's a concussion change for dashes too that's crazy resurrection all cost from eight to seven nah they're really trying to make sage viable i think that grim must be dancing right now deadlock deadlock's ultimate will now always kill the target when the timer expires and they're not free from the nano wire cocoon i feel like yeah that should have always been the case i don't know why they ever thought that it was a good idea to just release them if they got stuck like just die omen dark cover will now always fall to level geometry where players can stand oh so that's gonna remove a lot of different one ways clove ruse ally versus enemy clarity around ruse cast for both alive and dead cast of smokes have been improved nice enemy smokes have updated to appear more red than ally smokes nice not dead yet time to get kill 12 seconds to 10 seconds bars nerf that agent to the ground frick clove phoenix phoenix now applies a heal over time to himself whenever he touches his flame flames which persists even if he leaves the fire this allows him to dip into this flames and then continue to press offense wow so you can literally just throw the fire on yourself and then just get the heal and you can just move you don't have to sit in it that's crazy curveball changes the signature ability slot bars that is so good grants a free charge on round start two kill reset to generate an additional charge hot hands change to a non signature ability costs 200 credits that's fine we'll take that blaze we want to be able to support phoenix's hybrid jack of all trades utility value by allowing him to cast blaze from safety oh yeah you can do this to walls now for sure initial projectile goes to walls allowing blaze to function similarly to harbor's high tide jet drift passive jet can no longer float while depressor detained damn weapons updates we're making some tuning adjustments to weapons pistol and accuracy changes all pistols except the shorty moving while crouching in accuracy 0.1 to 0 0.5 that's a five time increase damn classic right click running in accuracy 1.5 3 to 1.5 thank god right click burst jumping accuracy 2.1 to 2.25 okay so it's a little bit more walking in accuracy 0.84 to 1.1 run accuracy 2 to 2.3 would have been really cool is if they made the classic standing accuracy a little bit better because that gun whiffs standing so honestly moving and shooting with the classic was the wave because of how inaccurate it already was anyways on that first bullet when you're standing still so nerfing all this just makes the classic overall worse but it would have been nice to balance the gun instead and make accurate shots a little little bit more reliable ghost walking in accuracy 0.84 to 1.1 thank god run in accuracy 2 to 2.3 again this is a good increase this is very similar it's in line with the classic so it's gonna be the same thing as the classic and i like that so all rifles walk in accuracy 2 to 3 five run in accuracy 5 to 6 is this really enough this should be like 15 no like why why 5 to 6 2 to 3 sure that's fine walk i mean you know it's whatever but like run in accuracy should just be like 20 like let's be real here machine guns all machine guns walk in accuracy 2.4 to 3 run 
one and inaccuracy six to six point five. I mean that's fine, like whatever. Frenzy bullet count increased from thirteen to fifteen, and ghost reduced from fifteen to thirteen. So they just swapped, and that makes sense. I'm not really using like all those bullets anyways. Like you know, like if I like for real, all I need is five bullets. You know, unless they buy armor, but like you know what I'm saying. And the frenzy, yeah, I think that's a good change because the frenzy, if they made it any more accurate, it'd be a problem. But I do feel like I would run out of bullets sometimes. Like if I had one or two extra bullets, I could have gotten that kill. And now the frenzy might actually be more reliable for me. Oh my god, phantom buff. There have been fewer phantom purchases over time with new maps being released and higher proficiency in shooting. The phantom and vandal's current differences are intended to keep their identities unique while still being relatively competitive with each other. These changes are intended to make the phantom feel better to use primarily and reduce frustrating instances of headshots doing less damage than expected at different distances. These breakpoints will remove some instances of 140 headshots and all instances of 124 in one headshot. Oh my god. Excluding wall penetration. No shot. Are you kidding me? Damage fall off changed? Dude, the phantom that's a huge buff chat. What? You one shot at 20 meters now from 15 to 20. That's huge with the phantom and all headshots at any range does 140 to the head. Oh my god chat. Yo, I'm a phantom player now. No, nah, I'm a phantom player now. Nah, what? That is so sick. Dude, that is a huge buff to the phantom. I, dude, I'm gonna use a phantom. Killjoy fixing a bug with the alarm bot where it did not play the proper reactivation ceremony and would instantly reactivate when Killjoy re-entered its range. Clove fixed a bug where metal was hitting through level geometry. Okay, got it. Sunset. We updated global lighting for the entire map. Players should see an improvement in lighting quality and general visibility in previously darker portions of the map. Nice. Gameplay system updates. The changes to the gameplay systems in this patch are to better support Valorant's tactical gunplay. A combat report is intended to share in-game information easily. We're always paying attention to how these systems are playing out, including ways that those systems can be used to create advantages that are counter to their intended use cases. Oh, is this like when you you could see how many people you flash or if someone walks into like a molly they threw down uh, after the fact? Those things? I feel like that. I guess that makes sense. While the combat report should be a tool to provide gameplay context for what your impact was within a round of Valorant, has an occasional downside of leaking information to you that you otherwise would have had no way of knowing. For example, if you were through a flash, B main, hit five people, but they tucked and then one person killed you, you would not know that there was four more there until you saw the combat report. So that makes sense. So this happens most often with utilities such as breaches, flashpoints, and skies getting light. You use your utility, get killed, but inadvertently also discover you blind players you never saw or engaged with. With these kind of cases in mind, we're making a change to the combat report. Your utility usage statistics now appear once the round is resolved rather than immediately upon death. That makes sense. In its place, you will see an animated hourglass. Once the round ends, utility usage statistics will become available and persist through the pre-round of the next round. Concusses. Well placed concusses should be just as consequential for our movement-oriented duelists as other agents. We also think that this strengthens defensive teleports compared to dashes as more flexible repositioning options to compensate for their weakness and entry capabilities. Nice. So like your TP, Omen TP, Chamber TP, like these are a little bit more viable now to play against stunners. Because this is now slow enemy dashes by 50%. Damn. This affects Jet's Tailwind and Neon Slide. Wow. So you just can't get out for free as much anymore. Smoke visual update. Man, what is this? Visual cues have been added to the inside of the smoke to let you know when they're about to disappear to better support decision making. These cues match up with the ones that exist on the outside of the smoke. Dude, that is so dumb, bro. Okay, I don't like the other smoke update either. It just lowers the skill gap. Like, that was something that I used to take pride in knowing when the smoke was gonna disappear because I had the internal clock. I played that much and that means, and like, if I didn't, then that means I was making a mistake and I wasn't keeping track properly, you know? Killjoy fixed a bug with the alarm bot where it did not play the proper reactivation ceremony and would instantly reactivate when Killjoy re-entered its range. Clove fixed a bug where metal was hitting through level geometry. Okay, got it. Add a visual divider on invite division standings that shows the cutoff for, okay, never mind. This is just like premier stuff, client updates, QR code login, gotcha. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, wait, if you log in Valorant through the right client, you can now scan it. Oh, I should download the right mobile app. Fix an issue where games in a best of three were listed as, okay, whatever. Fix an issue where sensitivity is severely reduced when using gen results mobilities. Oh, that's a console. Never mind. Wow, that's crazy though, chat. That's actually insane. This is an insane, huge update. Just to go over again, we have a new type of shield that's going to change the economy strategy. They're changing Cypher to be more info focused, which I think is totally fine because that was his identity anyways. Him being able to farm and get kills while also getting that much value with his util was a little bit broken because you were also you were not only able to just hold so much map control and info for your team, you were also able to fully anchor his site and get kills too. So now there's a little bit more balance. He's not completely like broken or dead but you definitely have to think a little bit more about the other sentinels you know having all this info but not being able to get as many kills or stall as long sage also buffed that's sick 
deadlock i don't care omen like the omen one ways the super annoying low skill effort one ways gone love that clove i mean it's the same but was nerfed before and he's staying she's uh, there oh, there <laughs> They're staying nerfed. Phoenix buff. Like, Phoenix it makes more sense now. This makes so much more sense for Phoenix. Like, the flash, the heal. You heal yourself and you can just run. You can wall through walls now. The flash is... Dude, okay. Phoenix is sick. I'm running Phoenix Phantom. The drifts. I mean, I don't care about that. And the combat report now, you don't just get... You know, like, you don't just give them unnecessary information, which I think is so much better. The smoke, you know, this this is dumb. This makes it easier for noobs, but who cares? You know, this game, it's a game, fun game for a child. Yes, fun game for a child. Uh, pistols better oh dude running inaccuracy is worse phoenix is buffed sage is buffed deadlock is whatever clove is staying nerfed cypher is getting nerfed the phantom is getting buffed oh man mama mia we have an econ change dude valorant is gonna be so different oh my god finally bro it's been so stale yes man let's go heck yeah yo shout out shout out to riot games right oh dude this is gonna be lit dude at least make it feel more skillful now all i need to do is just fix my internet yeah what do you guys think about the changes i think it's pretty dope